Hey guys, guess what? We got something new and it has RGB. Hey gang, Jason from House of Jacobs Gaming here. We got a new camera. And with that new camera, I want to be able to capture what it's doing. Yes, I could use the beta software, but I want to be able to capture it a little bit higher than the 30 FPS that I think the beta software picks it up at. But, here's the thing, I don't want to buy another cam link or something else when I can just get something that does both. And I found the Avermedia Live Gamer Duo. So when I was looking for cam links, this kind of came up in the thing, so I watched some other videos on it and was super impressed with, with what it can do. I currently have an Elgato HD60S. Uh, it has been good right up until I ran a switch, an HDMI switch into it, and then it keeps falling off. I don't know if it's, the, I don't think it's a switch or anything. I think maybe, uh, it just doesn't like this. it doesn't like the switch. But besides that, I also found somebody in need, like actual need of an of a card. So I figured I would upgrade ours. I'm already I already had to buy a cam link anyways for what I wanted to do uh, with the camera, and so I'm going to take that chance to get a new capture card and a cam link in one. So we're gonna unbox this, and then I will compare this to the HD60s. Do 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 do. I already cut the cellophane, so you don't get to see me do that. See, it has all kinds of fun stuff on the back. I don't care. It has RGB. That's what's important. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, what is important about it is that it literally will do two things in one. And it's actually priced between the HD60 and the 4K capture card. And then you still get a cam link, too. So it's craziness. So uh, this says that it will pass through 4K... P60 HDR, so that's cool, right? 60 frames per second 4K pass-through. It also has the full HD 240 FPS pass-through, so at 1440 you get that. And full HDR, what is it? HD HDR pass, or recording. So you can actually still record at the 1080p, I think, believe it's 60 frames per second. But it also picks up your camera if you plug into it. It has two ports. So here's the card. Here is HDMI cable. That's nice. I was running short on these apparently. All right. Comes this little cool little neat assistance thing. There's not a lot in here. It is a capture card. So it's not like you're gonna get a hundred million things in the box. And then just a short little manual here. But none of this is what we came for. We came for, let me get that out of my way, this card. Boom, pretty nifty. For, right off the bat, this is kind of beefy looking. I know the four, the Elgato, what is it, the 4K recording, whatever, that's inside the thing, uh, that goes inside the computer, does, it's not this beefy. This has a lot, of, it feels like it has a lot of cooling to it. There's some flex to this. But really, once it's in there, it's not gonna be a big difference. So here's what, here is why, right here, that I got this. We have one HDMI out, right? So this will go to the uh, screen or the monitor. Then we have HDMI one in and HDMI two in. So we'll just plug, what I plan on doing is plugging my HDMI switcher into this HDMI one, plugging the camera into HDMI two, the camera I'm literally on, on with you right now. And then I'll be able to capture both simultaneously I like that word, simultaneously. And then still have 4K if I really want it. I only have 1440. I don't have one of the new generation consoles, but I am ready for when we do get one and we'll be all set. So uh, let me get this put into the computer, get it all set up and we'll go from there. All right, installation is pretty simple. It's just plug it in and uh, let it go. Not too much to, to worry about, but there's no disc for this. So you have to basically go to the Avermedia right here. Hit enter, you come to, where was it? Support, yep. And right here is where you download. You click the download this, and after it runs through, let me see if it'll do it, even though I've already installed it. Make sure everything's working. Did not. All right, that's because, oh yes, here we go. It downloads this Avermedia Assistant Central. 
Once that's up, it goes through and detects everything that you have, just like this, and disappears into the background. So, all right, so now you have everything. It'll it'll pick up what your computer is, my computer, all your computer information, your different settings, and software and drivers. And it right here, instead of execute, it will have bas basically a download button again. And when you download, what you come up with is the install for this. Now, right now, it's not reading the signal because that is my camera. My beautiful face back on there. You guys will see it. Oh, I have to turn it back on. So I have everything working as of right now. There we go. Uh, I have it on manual focus. I was messing with it. That's my own fault. All right. So this is what we got. We have camera being captured with clean HDMI. Again, I'm now going to switch over. This is my Xbox. Very simple setup. I put everything in. It automatically picked it up. I had no issues whatsoever. I'm already going into OBS and set everything up for my streams. Let's go up to scene collection. We'll go to Just Dance because that, well, iRacing is really the next one I'm going to be. So I have my Logitech C920 right here. And I'm obviously on the camera that I would normally switch to. But this is pulling in the game right here down in the corner. That's where I keep it right there. Easily pulling it in. And when I have the other camera hooked up, called it dance camera and I have it turned on. See, it says no signal and it's inverted. When you're doing Just Dance, this is specifically this game. To ensure that you look like the characters on there, you have to invert it. So you can control this just like any other camera. But I will be sitting right up here for my dance camera. And I'll have it on manual focus to keep the clean thing on there because if I have it in autofocus, it sometimes shows a little block when it's trying to focus and I don't want that while I'm dancing. So I'll just focus it back behind me where I'll be dancing at and I'll have no more issues without a focus, which is really why I wanted to get this camera and have the capability to get this camera onto the computer while doing the game at the same time. And this is, this is really what this thing is great at. I saw nothing else on the market that would capture video from a video game and video from a DSLR camera at the same time. Technically, I guess you could pull in two separate video games. You could, I mean, it is literally just capturing another type of device. So, I mean, I don't know why you would want two video games. Maybe you and your spouse are both playing at the same time. I saw somebody doing that earlier and you're setting up a stream specific computer and you each have a computer to play on and you don't want your graphics messed up. Run this bad boy in have the stream pick up two, that's right, two games, and then you can put them both up on one OBS. So that's a pretty cool idea. I will, I will give it a week before I put this video up and I'll give you just a small update right at the end of this and let you guys know how streaming went for the week. All right, gang, it has been actually about two, three weeks since I had first did that video. Um, now I'm coming to you after messing with the Avermedia Media card for about three weeks in streaming. Uh, I will remind you, I have an HDMI switch that kind of throws a wrench into things here. I had one problem when working with the Avermedia, Media, and I think it just comes down again to this switch, and it was probably the same thing that was bothering my Elgato HD60S. The switch tends to keep a signal going at all times, so the... When the Avermedia is turned on by OBS to try and pick up a signal, it doesn't know that it should be picking up a new signal. Uh, something very similar was happening with my Elgato. With the Elgato, I would have to go into audio settings, turn it, disenable it, re-enable it, unplug everything, plug it back in. Very frustrating. Again, that's just my setup though, and that's with this HDMI switch. I don't wanna to have to switch cables in and out just to play video games and switch consoles while I'm streaming or even ever. So what I found was that if I keep the HDMI switch off, then start up OBS, then turn the HDMI switch on, which is right here on my desktop, then I don't have issues. It comes right on without issues. So just one little thing above the Elgato, but that again, that Elgato was, I don't think these are really meant to have HDMI switches hooked up to them, but people do. 
one of the biggest things that I have seen through that that contrasts this card outside of being able to pick up a camera and a video game console with no issues whatsoever outside of my HDMI thing. That's again my setup. That was that there's 4K pass through on this. So yes, you're only picking up 1080p, but you get 4K 60 FPS FPS pass through. Now I don't even have a 4K monitor, but when I go to get an Xbox Series X and a series or the Series S or even a PS5, depending on what we decide to do with our stream in the future, I have the capability to output 4K to my screen. Yes, I will only be picking up 1080p, but right now on Twitch, and as far as I'm concerned on probably YouTube, streaming in 4K is very niche. And I don't even think you can do it on Twitch unless you're like some kind of huge partner and I'm just a lonely little affiliate down on the totem pole. So that's not happening anytime soon for me. Most of the time I am capturing in 1080p, sometimes in 720, depending on what I'm doing. But again, most times 1080p, 60 FPS, and this captures it just fine. The HD 60S does as well. So that's something to consider. This is $100 over the cost of the HD 60S, but you don't get that 4K pass through. So if you want to get a 4K pass through, I've looked up here on Amazon, I'm looking right now. The only thing that seems like it has a 4K pass through is the 4K 60 Pro or the 4K 60S Plus. We're gonna stick with the Pro. I think that's the closest one to this, but the pricing on it is actually very similar to the pricing of the Avermedia. Media. So you're looking at 245. I believe this actually captures in 4K though as well, which again, we're not trying to do. It captures in 2160p60. So it does capture in 4K. So there's nothing else that really does. Uh, does a 4K output and capture in 1080p. That's kind of where Avermedia is saving their money. They're not capturing in 4K, but they are giving you that thing that you would need to buy, and that's called a cam link. So say we go at the 4K60 Pro at 245, right? A cam link, an Elgato cam link is what you need to pick up this camera that I am literally talking to at the same time would be another $107. Now you're in it for over $350. This Avermedia is retailing when I got it at 250. For 250, you basically get a cam link, you get 4K pass through, you get 1080p 60 FPS pickup and capture. I mean, you can't beat that stuff. I don't think that there's anything on the market like it. I've looked I found some cheaper, you, I mean, you could use a cheaper cam link or whatever, but you're trying to stay more name brand and more, I don't know, capable. I, I've, I've seen a lot of bad reviews on some of these, on some of these cheaper uh, cam links and stuff. So here's, here's what you get with Elgato though. You get this entire ecosystem that nestles together in this cute little nest. Like I have a stream deck here. So if I take a Stream Deck, a Cam Link, um, the Capture Card, they all go in this one little nice package where you you could even, they even have it to where you can stream from their system, sort of like OBS. You can control everything in there. And when you want to update stuff, you hit update. The entire suite updates from as far as I understand it. With the Avermedia, you have to go in and make sure that one, like they might have updates just for the capture part. They might have updates just for uh, the output part. And you just have to check those inside their software. So you don't have that nice little neat package anymore. Do I have issues with my stream deck controlling my stream just because it's not in Elgato? No, I don't. It works fine with OBS. So I don't know that that, that ecosystem is such a big deal breaker. And considering the pricing and what you get, I don't know that I could suggest anything else for anyone else except the Avermedia right now. Maybe if 4K streaming becomes a much bigger thing, you might want to go get that at 4K 60 Pro. I believe Avermedia even has a 4K out capture, 
But again, you're, you're losing that duo capability, the duo of picking up a DSLR camera and you're capturing your game. And personally, I think that this DSLR camera has upped my game on my Just Dance streaming and even streams like when I'm just doing stuff with the kids like Dungeons and Dragons. We used this last night and it was way better than the C920. Now, my C920 still sits here right on this other monitor and I'll use it for chatting and stuff. But when it comes to I want to pick up something in a much bigger space, I'm going to default to this DSLR and I can't do that without some kind of capture device. And this Avermedia fills both the, the role of a cam link and a capture card, giving you 4K output to your monitor. So any brand new system that you're running right now, and I mean, unless you're going to go out and buy something that's going to be putting out 4K 120 FPS, all it does is knock down half the FPS anyways and put out at 60 FPS. Granted, you're not capturing that to put out to the world, but no one is putting out 4K to the world on live streams right now. So I don't know, man. I, I'm going to have to say that this thing was a slam dunk. When I saw some reviews of it, I, I immediately, my ears perked up. I saw a money-saving opportunity being able to upgrade from the HD60S that I had to, to having 4K output, picking up a better thing, and getting a cam link all in one package. Then I was able to give away my cam link or my HD60S to someone that really needed it, one of my friends. So thank you guys very much. Hit that sub button, please help us out. We're trying to get to a thousand. It would be fantastic if we can do that. Follow us on any of our uh, socials. We have, we're live on Twitch almost every single day. You can catch us either playing Just Dance, Dungeons & Dragons, Sea of Thieves, any conglomerate of games. We hang out in the, in the, on Instagram and everything else. Guys, we are everywhere and by all means, Hey, give us a like and a comment. That really helps out too. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you next time on House of Jacob's